What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about our last tournament which was on Lake Chickamauga. Whether I do good in the tournament guys or I do bad whatever it is I still want to do a walkthrough and pretty much explain what went down you know during practice what went down during the tournament you know why what happened you know just just the whole deal guys because yesterday was thursday today's friday um, i've been super busy i really apologize for not getting this video out earlier but i did notify you guys on social media that this video would be coming out a day late which is today which is friday so let me explain real quick what i'm doing today so this weekend i was supposed to be going out of town i've had this plan for a while for uh i was going to be going to fish with tyler and alex rudd um we're gonna go we were gonna go film on Lanier well Tyler had something pop up and he's gonna end up going back early um, back home because he was in this area so he's gonna be going back home well <clears throat> Alex he had some family things pop up which I completely understand you know things happen and uh, so he's not gonna be able to make it but I do have some things I got to get done this weekend which I can't really announce yet I'm allowed to announce it but I want to keep it a surprise, guys. I want to, I'm want to, I want to make these videos and surprise you guys with this whole deal that's coming up. So I'm going home this weekend to handle that situation. I'm going to be going out on the water. I'm going to film a little bit as well um, for one of the days. And then I'll be coming back here because I got a crap ton of schoolwork, guys. I got a lot that I got to get done. And um, I can't afford to stay there the whole weekend because it's not going to happen with uh, how much I got going on. Because we got finals. We already got presented all our finals. So I have all my finals work that I have to get done. And I won't be here the finals week of school because i'm going to nationals so i have to like get all this done well anyways let's hop into the video so if you guys haven't watched the previous vlogs i would really recommend you go watch them you know i did travel vlogs and i actually filmed the practice day um at lake chickamauga so i have all that up on youtube so let's talk about practice real quick so practice it was a pretty it was a fairly decent practice you know we had about 16 pushing 17 pounds um, we're just running around fishing as much as possible covering a lot of water finding new areas and really finding in or keying in what those fish were doing you know I knew those big fish were gonna be we we're gonna catch those bigger ones off of bed we really didn't find too many fish on bed too many big fish you know the fish that we were finding on bed were you know two three pounds you know barely keeping um, we saw a few that were actually pretty good ones but rather than that we did not see much so I kind of put we pushed out towards the main lake um, we started fishing the mouths of these little cuts, these little creeks that were going in on the main lake. And that's really when we started to get the bites. So I was throwing a jerk bait, which is honestly crazy. I was not expecting to throw a jerk bait. And uh, I just saw fish on my graph and they were just jerk bait fish. And so I got tied on that mega bass, started casting around. Guys, just absolutely killed them. I mean, caught over 30 fish that day on that jerk bait. Caught almost every species in the lake on that bait. So I knew I was throwing something that obviously all the fish were eating. And uh, we we're catching them fairly good. You know, we weren't sitting here running every fish you catch was three to four pounds. That's not the case. Uh, that wasn't the case. Did we catch some three to four pounders? Yes. But it wasn't every single fish. Um, a bunch of two to two and a half pounders and a bunch of smaller fish as well. So we found a little bit in practice. Um, we figured something out. We had a little game plan for the morning. The next day was going to be super cloudy. We knew those fish were going to be roaming. So we were gonna just adjust during the day and do what we could. So we get out there, um, we're fishing, we pull up to our first spot, pretty much we we're fishing the mouse at our first spot and then we were gonna push in to the little cove, to the little creek, fish the inside and the back of it because we didn't fish that in practice and I thought there could be, you know, possibly some big fish in there. We caught two fours or a three and a half and a four right at the mouth of that. So I knew there could be some bigger fish back up in there. Um, we went back up in there. Oakley caught our first fish. I caught, I caught a few bass, but they're too small. They didn't measure. After that, we ended up fishing that area for a good bit of time. We started running and gunning, hitting all our jerk bait spots that we were just killing them on before. And, uh, I caught our second keeper. He wasn't even that big. I mean, these fish were both like two pounds, but for them to keep, I mean, they had to be about that size. They're super long fish. They had to be 15 inches. Smallmouth had to be 18 inches. Well, guys, we stopped at this one spot. I was like, let's just try this real quick. First cast, I catch a spot. It's too small, throwing back. Um, this big old yacht comes by and it's, it's stirring up some water. So I knew it was going to stir up that, all that bait. Well, I turn and throw a, throw a cast kind of behind the boat where I saw some fish on the graph and I was pulling up. I'm jerking that jerk bait. I hook one and he's pulling my drag. You know, he's toting me all around. I was like, all right, this is a big one. So what we need, we give him to the boat. He's a big smallmouth. It's like three and a half pounds and get him in the boat. He has to be 18 inches. You guys have got to know that. Measured him, he's like 17 and a quarter. 
literally had to throw back like a three and a half pound smallmouth, which was honestly the worst experience of my life, guys. Like I've never had to sit there and throw back a good fish like that for no apparent reason. Like we had to sit there and just release it. And uh, that just absolutely sucked. As we're fishing on throughout the day, you know, we're catching a ton of fish, guys. I'm telling you, we're catching them good. And they were all just dead on the money. They were just you know, pushing 15. I mean, like hairs, guys. And these were fat fish. Note that the fish that we were catching were bigger than the ones in our live well. Like these fish were fat. These were like two and a half, two and a half to three pounds or three and a half pound with the smallmouth pound fish that we're having to throw back. So we threw back probably 12, 13 pounds worth of fish just because they wouldn't measure, which just sounds absolutely stupid, but that's what it was. Well, we get about, you know, three and a half, four hours into the day, you know, not, we're just kind of getting warmed up. You know, we knew our bite was going to pick up later on in the day. Well, I'm driving down the river. We're going to go back to our first spot. And uh, I feel something a little weird in my hop, but you know, it feels a little different. So I pressed down on it, it felt a little weird. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna lower the boat. So as I'm lowering the boat, right when it's about to, about to drop down like that, Right when it drops down, you see my motor just shaking like crazy. Like, what do I do? Throw it back, lift the motor up, and one of the ears on my prop were just absolutely gone. Just, I just flung, flung a prop or flung, flung one of my blades. So at that point, I was like, all right, maybe I can just idle over here to this bank. Well, I put it in the gear, shaking really bad. I'm like, all right, there's no way. No way this is going to happen. And we idled over to this bank. It's just a super steep bluff wall. There's like no pockets nearby. Um, all we had was a trolling motor at that point. And I, all we could do is just put down the trolling motor and cover water. So that's what we did. And I caught a few fish and uh, just couldn't make it happen there, guys. We had to call one of our teammates. They went and picked up Oakley. I stayed in the boat because Oakley had to go weigh in our fish. I stayed in the boat. And as Oakley and them were gone, there was a boat ramp nearby that I had to work my way towards because I had my dad that was actually going to come pick me up with my truck. Um, Oakley took my keys. And then my dad picked up my truck and ran to this boat ramp that was nearby. So as I'm working my way there, I caught like 12, 13 pounds I would keep. I was actually measuring the fish because I wanted to see if they would actually keep with all the bigger fish that we caught that wouldn't keep. And I caught about 12, 13 pounds just right there, right after the tournament, after Oakley was gone, just covering this water going back. Um, I caught him on a drop shot. Caught him on that steep bluff wall, just flipping up on that bluff wall. Caught him on a jerk bait. Caught him on a little beaver. Just tearing him up. Just tearing the fish up. Caught two for three pounders. Um, and the rest were, you know, around two, two and a half. Jeez, guys, I just don't understand why all this crazy stuff happens in tournaments. Every single time, you know, something crazy happens, which that's tournament fishing for you guys. If you guys tournament fish, you know, you can't go out there and win everyone. Or you can't go out there and expect it to be an amazing day. Or you can't go out there and expect you not to have boat problems or whatever it is. And this year has been filled with a lot of that stuff, guys. Filled with a lot of boat problems. Filled with a lot of stupid stuff that really shouldn't happen but it does and um, that's a part of fishing and you just got to accept that and go on to the next event but about my boat is actually getting fixed right now so by the time i get in atlanta it should be good i actually bent my prop shaft as well so with that whole deal with that motor with that with that motor shaking and everything what you got to understand is that that prop you got three blades on it when you take one of those blades off that thing's you know it's it's tumbling like this when it goes around bent my prop shaft um we ended up contacting yamaha or my boat mechanic did and um he got us hooked up there so that's getting fixed and everything what sucks is we just put a brand new prop shaft on there not too long ago gonna get a new prop put on that was a must anyways my prop had a little ding in it and it wasn't cutting through the water perfectly so that that was our event guys um all the fish i pretty much caught on i tried to throw in that big swim bait the fish just were not committing oakley threw it a good bit oakley threw it more than me um he had a few bites on it where fish slapped it but just never got it um, I was throwing that jerk bait pretty much the whole time because that's what I had confidence in. That's what I was catching them on. You know, that's what was happening. I was going out there and just, I felt like that was the only thing I could really get a bite on. I only got a bite on slow moving baits after the tournament or um, I only caught one during the tournament on a slow moving bait. And I never caught one on it during practice, which is very weird. You know, I was just killing them on that jerk bait, which is unexpected. But that just shows you guys that you guys got to fish the fish and not the lake. When you go to these lakes, you can't expect, you know, all these fish to be doing a certain thing. You got to go out there with an open mind and figure those fish out. And that's what we did. And we did the best that we could. And uh, that's all we can say from there. But hope you guys are enjoying the vlog series, guys. I I'm heading home this weekend. I'm going to be vlogging. 
I want you guys to leave a comment below on what you guys want me to see on Lanier. If you guys want to see a certain tip video on Lanier, you want to see how I'm going to break down Lanier because note that I have not been to Lanier in a while. So when I go out there, I'm pretty much just going to be fishing at like a whole new lake. I'm not going to sit there and fish the stuff that I've been fishing. I'm going to go out there and, you know, experiment a little bit and I figure out what those fish are doing and go put the hammer on them, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to comment below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell. Thank you all so much for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mind your motherfucking business. Ain't nothing you gotta see. How you all up in my shit when you got my problems in me? Yeah, I'm cool, but you don't want to see that other side of me. And my mobbing depot, I'm a prodigy. I know, I know that you been envy. It ain't that hard to see. Don't you dare go fix your mouth to tell me that you proud of me. Ain't no